Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and this is the series where we try to complete The Sims 3. And I have to start with something that I forgot in the last episode. If you remember correctly, we threw a party with Paul in that one. And having a look at his skill journal here, that party allowed him to go over the threshold of 20 friends. As a result, we completed the super friendly skill challenge in the charisma skill. And I actually talked about that. However, what I did not talk about was that this was actually enough to complete the super popular lifetime wish as well. So let's check that off as completed and then go back to the last episode one more time. Because we also completed the journalism career with Paul, and not only does that complete the career, but also another lifetime wish, so we can mark the Star News Anchor as completed as well. And that should be all going into this episode, we can now start the day with a Yesha working from home. She simply has the wish to do so, so let's fulfill her that. Wonderful. And then we can teleport her over to the hospital. Because now Ayesha will retire. She has worked hard and I think she has more than earned her rest. And her sitting at the top of the medical career day in and day out wasn't really a challenge anymore. Also, we had to save Ayesha from death once already. And the second time might be around the corner and we won't be able to do it then. And it would be a shame if she spent the last few days of her life at work. Now there is still one more useful thing we can do at the hospital, and that is for 30,000 simoleons we can become a business partner. Wonderful, Ihisha will now begin an uninterrupted day of collecting and we can jump back to the rest of the household. And those three remaining members of our household get up at almost the same time. So while Chastity begins her day with a shower, Patrick immediately goes outside to take care of his garden and Paul grabs breakfast. Then we can switch back to Chastity who has teleported herself over to the park and will begin to play for tips here. Especially on the weekend, the park is a very good location to do that. Paul has finished breakfast and will now also take a shower. and afterwards can hop in front of the computer and begin to write again. We are just a few simoleons and royalties away from reaching 4000 per week, and that would complete another lifetime wish, so we will have him write another children's book. Those are relatively short and should make him enough to go over 4000 simoleons. Outside, Patrick finishes his tour through the garden and can now also quickly take a shower. For him, the priority is still to max out the cooking skill, and his first meal of the day is actually timed perfectly, because we can make dim sum a level 9 dish which falls into the brunch category, and the higher the level of the meal prepared, the more experience we will get in the cooking skill. We can now also quickly hop into the town map and collect money from the restaurant, something that I somehow must have overlooked when we last collected. Then Patrick finishes preparing his meal, he can quickly spice that up a bit and then begin to eat. After finishing brunch and cleaning up, we should now take care of Patrick's fun bar. Even though it's Saturday, Patrick has to work today, and of course we want him to work hard, and for that to succeed we need to have his fun bar up a bit. Then over in the park, we can quickly put in a lunch break for Chastity. We will not send her home for that, but instead have her walk over to the picnic tables, where a single hot dog is conveniently left over. And now that she's done, she can begin to play again. Then at home, Patrick finishes his children's book, 549 simoleons in royalty payments, and as we look at the skill journal, that puts his current weekly royalties at over 4300, completing the professional author lifetime wish. That is now actually the fourth lifetime wish that we have completed with Paul, and I have at least one, but maybe even up to four more lined up for him. And while we're in the process of completing things, let's also now try and get that last remaining masterpiece painting that is still missing to complete the painting skill. In the meantime, we can send Patrick off to work, he has almost maxed out his fun bar, and that should be enough to keep him going through the entire workday. He will, of course, as usual, work hard. 
Then back to Paul and we have an abundance of lifetime happiness points to spend. With some of those we already grabbed the extra creative lifetime reward in one of the earlier episodes and the effect of that more or less overrides the perfectionist trait that Paul also has. That makes the trait pretty much useless for us and it also comes with the annoying making the bad animation. So let us now use 20,000 lifetime happiness points for the midlife crisis reward and change that trait. And we will replace it with, yeah, it's a bit boring, but with workaholic. I would like Paul to complete at least one more career after politics. And the workaholic trait is a nice thing to have to ensure that he earns promotions regularly. Then over to Chastity, her shift starts in less than an hour. So we can have her stop playing for tips and instead make her run over to the theater, which is luckily close by. And then, because she's likely not going to get a promotion today anyway, we will set her to chill out with musicians to improve the relationships with her band members. That is also the one factor that is likely keeping her from getting a promotion. However, just barely an hour into her shift we see a slight change. Mostly thanks to the office hero lifetime reward, Chastity has improved the relationship with her band members quite significantly. That means all her work performance factors are now looking perfect and so we can switch her to work hard and maybe even get a promotion. I'm not sure it's going to be enough but it's worth taking a shot. At home, Ahisha has returned from collecting and is now sending away a few gems to be cut. Afterwards, she can grab what we have received in the mail and while she makes her way over to the fridge, we can sell all of that. Alright, 4000 simoleons more and now Ahisha can begin to eat. Once she's done and has cleaned up, it's also time for her to take a shower. And while she then leaves the property, we can quickly hop over to Paul. It seems like Paul is actually unable to finish the painting because we switched trades midway through. I believe the value that was originally calculated for this painting is now no longer applicable because Paul no longer has the perfectionist trait. That's a bit of a shame, but it seems like the only thing we can do is to scrap it and start all over again. It's the weekend, so I hope you won't mind. Then back to Ahisha and I send her to the science facility. Not to bring back Pete's ghost, don't get your hopes up, but to simply become a partner here as well. By spending 40,000 simoleons we have now done that and Ahisha can return to collecting for a few more hours. Then we can skip ahead to the end of the workday for Patrick and sadly as we can see he will likely not get a promotion. Despite having maxed out 3 out of 4 work performance factors, his poor relationship with his co-workers is really hurting him and so Patrick finishes his workday without a promotion. He gets a serving of baked angel food cake to take home though, at least that's a small compensation. Speaking of home, that's where Ahisha has already returned to, sending away one more round of metals to be smelted and then heading off to bed. Just a few seconds later Patrick also arrives and despite having a delicious meal right in his inventory, he will now cook himself something for dinner. Now Chastity finishes work and she also did not get a promotion today. I never expected her to get one, but it would have been nice. Now we have to wait until Monday to get a one level higher in the musician career. As usual, Chastity will now play for tips and I decided to test out another new spot right between the restaurant and the grocery store. At home, Patrick has prepared some stew surprise of outstanding quality. He can now eat that and then focus again on his cooking skill. He is not tired yet and he's really close to reaching level 10, so I think a few more hours with the cooking skill book should be enough to max out that skill. Then Paul finishes the painting and as I hope, it is a masterpiece. That means that Paul has now not only completed the master painter skill challenge, but all skill challenges in the painting skill. Combine that with him having reached level 10 a long time ago and we can safely say that Paul Complete has completed the painting skill. We can now hang the painting up in Paul's and Chastity's bedroom and hop over to Paul who has some baked angel food cake next to his brother. And once done eating and cleaning up, he will now join Patrick for a quick skill learning session in the Charisma skill. Over by the grocery store, Chastity has made a bit more money playing for tips. However, it's not a huge amount and she's getting tired and hungry. So it's best to send her home now and also give her something to eat. Chastity closing the dishwasher is the sign for both her and Paul to go to bed. Paul won't be able to level up in the charisma skill anyway and it's nice to have them go to bed together. Hmm. 
Speaking of leveling up though, while Ahisha is already awake again, well rested and on her way to another collecting trip, Patrick finally improves his cooking skill to level 10. Combined with 7500 lifetime happiness points, we now only have to take care of two more skill challenges until we can call the cooking skill completed as well. We will have to take care of that another time though, as we can now send Patrick to bed and make a cut in this episode. I know it's a bit shorter than the last ones, I simply didn't have much time this weekend, but I can promise you I have something very special planned for the next one. So I'm looking forward to that and can say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.